Hello everyone, I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Thank you for viewing today's episode of Dr. Ozello's Sports Medicine Report. Today I'm doing things a little bit differently. As you can tell, I'm outside, I'm at the park. I want to talk about hamstring training. Specifically two exercises, they are advanced hamstring exercises. They're called the glute ham raise and the football glute ham raise. There is a machine that you could use at the gym or you could purchase it at home to do the glute ham raise, but I wanna go over how you could do it with just having your ankles secured either by a training partner or underneath the weight, or I'm gonna be using the abdominal board, or you can actually um, do the same exercise with the football. The two exercises I'm gonna be doing, one is just a solely eccentric exercise, that is the glute ham raise, meaning that that exercise is done in the, in the negative fashion. The second way with the football, the football glute ham raise is a positive and negative exercise, meaning that it's a concentric and eccentric contraction. I'm going to be demonstrating the glute ham raise in eccentric fashion first. Again, this is an advanced exercise, so you have to build up to this exercise. You don't want to be a beginner and just start doing it. Now, I have to admit, to be honest, I even have some trouble doing this exercise. It's something I've been building up to for a long time. So I want you to watch my technique, see how I do things, learn from my technique, because this is an outstanding, outstanding, I'm going to say it again, three times, outstanding hamstring exercise. Now remember, the hamstrings do several different things. The hamstrings, when they are flexed concentrically, they bring the heel towards the gluteal region. So they do hip extension and knee flexion. They also control forward motion of the hip and the lower leg when they are working eccentrically. And then they also help to stabilize the knee joint and they also do rotation of the thigh. So you have to think about those things. Now on this one, what we do is the lower leg is secured. You could do this with the training partner while they were they can be anchoring the ankles to the floor. I am using the abdominal board. What you want to do on this one is you want to keep the thighs, the pelvis, and the spine in a straight line. So you're going to hold that. Once you feel that you are losing that, that's when you put your hands out and catch yourself and push yourself back up. Proper technique and proper posture is vital in all exercises, especially when we are doing eccentric exercises like the glute ham raise. And as you can tell, I'm filming outside. It's the first time I filmed one of Dr. Ozello Sports Medicine reports outside. So there's some outside noise and I apologize for the birds and for the airplanes, but we're gonna go ahead and work through it. Uh, if it gets too loud, I'll stop, but I just wanna explain that to everybody. When we are doing the glute ham raise, you wanna keep the thighs, the pelvis, and the spine in a straight line. We are going to slowly lower ourselves, and you will feel this in the hamstrings. We are going to slowly lower ourselves. Once you start to lose that posture, then you catch yourself and push yourself back up. So here's the starting position slowly lower myself now I could already feel it in the hamstrings once I start to lose this position I put the hands down and I push myself up when you come back to the top get in that proper posture hold that position as long as you can catch yourself and then back up this at home or at the gym have a, a barbell that secures your ankles or with the training partner Having strong and flexible hamstrings is extremely important to improve your athletic performance and to help to prevent injuries common hamstring injuries include the hamstring muscle strain and proximal hamstring tendinopathy but having strong hamstrings also helps to prevent non-contact knee injuries such as an ACL injury or an MCL injury. So it's extremely important to have strong hamstring muscles. Now I'm going to demonstrate the football glute ham raise. This is the one that is an eccentric and concentric exercise. 
So the technique is the same, the posture is the same. You're gonna have your hands on the fit ball just very loosely. You don't wanna have them on the top. You wanna have them out in front of you and have the ball out in front of you as far as you can while you're still contacting the ball very lightly. Get into the proper posture, slide the ball forward while you're, contact, you're contracting the hamstrings eccentrically. Go down as far as you can and then pull yourself back up. Hold that proper posture. If you feel yourself losing it, then stop at that point or stop right before that point and return to the starting position. If you feel pain in the hamstrings, that is not that muscle fatigue, then you wanna go ahead and stop. If you feel pain in the spine or in the pelvis, you wanna go ahead, first of all, modify your position your body posture, make sure you're in the correct posture. And then if that doesn't work, then you wanna go ahead and stop, go back to one of the intermediate exercises and then try to progress to this exercise again. I'm feeling my hamstrings burning. I'm not sure the number of repetitions, I'm guessing about six or seven so far. Feel it in the hamstrings. It's gonna to help to build hamstring strength in the concentric and in the eccentric fashion. It's extremely important to have strength in the hamstring muscles. It's extremely important to have stability in the knees to help to prevent a non-contact injury. The hamstrings are a large, powerful muscle group that do a tremendous amount. You wanna make sure that they are as strong as possible. The glute ham raise and the football glute ham raise are advanced hamstring exercises that will help you a great deal to improve your performance and help to prevent injuries. This has been Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada, thanking you for viewing today's episode of Dr. Ozello's Sports Medicine Report. Please feel free to like this video. Please feel free to leave any questions, feedback, or suggestions in the comments section below. Also, I want you to always remember, train hard, train smart, stay injury free, and accomplish your goals.